God bless you, people of God. Um, just releasing this word um, as I'm driving to work this morning, just reminded of um, the importance of sharing this prophetic word um, that the Lord gave me a couple of weeks ago prior to 1st of September and coming into this new year 5784. Um, the Lord spoke to me and said that this year, that there was going to be a spiritual shift, a significant spiritual shift in the atmosphere, and that we are coming into a season of expectation and opportunities. Expectation and opportunities, but how many of us know that opportunities may pre be presented to us, but it is still a choice as to whether we accept them or not. And this is the challenge that the body of Christ is having in that we are not discerning the opportunities that God is presenting and choosing appropriately. And, and if you're, and if you are blessed, God for you, but this is going out to those who are challenged in this season, that those who are trying to find their, their rhythm almost in their, in their work, in the domain, in their ministry, in their, you're, you're, you're finding it a challenge that there are seasons have plagued you where you have not just have made wrong choices, but the Lord is almost extending that olive branch of opportunities. There is going to be a serious shift in the realm of the spirit, as was from the 1st of September, where opportunities, opportunities are going to come. We must go into this season with expectation. And the Lord said, if you don't go into this season with expectation, expect nothing. We must, we must, we must, we must. As believers, as children of God, as especially as leaders, pastors, leaders, apostles, prophets, if you're coming into this, into this season, there must be a huge dependency on God for what you are expecting. God does not give a seed without putting a million trees in that seed. So there is an expectation of a harvest that God desires and expects. And in the same manner and in the same fashion, he expects us to have that expectation. So let your spirit soar this season. There is a season of expectation that will produce opportunities that will come through a greater level of intimacy. At the beginning of this year, 2023, the Lord released a word in our church. This, seat, this year is going to be uh, 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 um, symbolized almost, if you like, by this invitation, this invitation that is an opportunity to go beyond the veil and to have fresh encounters with God, fresh dimensions of God will be revealed in this season. And the Lord reminded me that this, this part of this season, this year, is the season of opportunity, season of opportunity. So a spiritual shift a season of expectation that produces opportunities through intimacy. Now, here's where the the the, the challenge comes. The, the Lord said, First Timothy, First Timothy one six. Um, it, the, the Lord spoke to me and said that we must fan the flame. We must fan the flame because He will light the fire. I'll explain it more in a second. Fan the flame. So, and because he will light the fire, we have a duty. We have, it is incumbent upon us to stir the gifts that are in us. The apostle Paul says, from the laying out of my hands upon you, there is a time and a season to stir and cultivate the gifts that God has imparted into us for this season. This is the time to fan the flame. Those are the specific words. Fan the flame, fan the flame, fan the flame that is in you. Stir the gift that is in you. Pick up those projects, pick up those plans, pick up those the, those yearnings, pick up those desires to, to study, those desires to break out and launch into those business ventures. This is the time to pray harder, pray longer, fast longer, get more serious, get more, enroll onto some, some courses, discipleship courses. Uh, Bible courses, theology, whatever you want to do to, to stir yourself. This is the season to fan the flame because God is about to light the fire. First Kings 18, Elijah's show off with the prophets of Baal. They did everything they could to conjure up those, 
their, their false gods and false deities, even to the point where they began to cut themselves and all manner of things, nothing happened. God said to Elijah, now rebuild the altar. Listen to this. This is a season to rebuild your altar to the Lord. A season to rebuild your altar to the Lord. Rebuild the, Elijah rebuilt the altar. He dismantled their altar. He rebuilt his altar to God. As he rebuilt the altar, they poured water on it, significant of the Holy Spirit. This season is going to be marked by fresh encounters with the Holy Spirit, fresh, fresh, um, um, uh, fresh moments of almost an immersing of a new cloaking and clothing. The Bible says that Gideon was clothed with the Spirit of God. There's going to be a fresh time of clothing and cloaking of the Holy Spirit upon your life and upon your ministry in the name of Jesus. So he he found he 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 rebuilt the altar. He rebuilt the altar. As he rebuilt the altar, as he rebuilt the altar, the Bible says that he prayed unto God and God light lit the fire. God lit the fire. In this season you're not gonna have to light that fire yourself. All God wants you to do is prepare. Prepare your life, prepare your home, prepare your children, prepare your church, prepare your ministry, prepare your plans, prepare your documents. Every, this is a season of preparation. Preparation for encounter, preparation for God intervention, preparation for God's move. As you, as you and I choose, and it has to be a willful choice. The Bible says in the book of Joshua, the Joshua 24, Joshua said that, that just says, ask for me and my house. Oh, we choose to serve the Lord. There is a there is a power in us choosing. And this is what is incumbent about this season that you and I are on. The Bible declares that the Lord, that the Lord lit the fire. He lit the fire. He lit the fire. If you have to find the flame, he will light the fire. But let me just tag on to this. There's a very important part of this. The Lord says that as Elijah rebuilt the altar, I broke the power of the enemy. As Elijah rebuilt the altar, I broke the power. And the Lord says there's three parts to this. Rebuild the altar. Rebuild the altar. God will break the power and then blow the shofar. The shofar or the trumpet is the sound, is the sound, is that clarion sound. It is the sound of warfare. It is the sound of celebration. It is the sound of victory. It is the, 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 it is the sound of, of beckoning God's people into God's presence. There is a sound, and, and that's what I heard. I, I shared this message two, three weeks ago at church. Well, part of this message, the, the unfolding of the latter part only came last week, where I said to the church, I hear in the spirit realm the sound of a trumpet being blown and almost calling, um, a calling going out. This is this is for you and I as believers in the body of Christ. I pray by the mercies of God that this word charges you, that this word is a charge to your spirit to never give up, never quit, to continue to press into God, that it is a charge to go into this season with expectation, that expectation will produce opportunities those opportunities will come through a greater level of intimacy. And as we are drawing closer to God, fan the flame, stir the gifts that are in you. Because God says, as you fan the flame, he will light the fire. And as we light the fire, as he lights the fire, the revelation of that is because we have rebuilt our altar, he will break the back of the enemy. He will break the power of the enemy. And as the power of the enemy is, is broken, there is a clarion sound of a trumpet that is going out, a sound of victory, a sound of celebration and rejoice. Apostle Michael, out praising God for your lives and blessing you with this prophetic word in Jesus' name. Amen.